Hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you're at in the world. This is a live stream with live audience. If you're watching the recording, I usually give about 10, 15 minutes for all my friends to get in the door. We chit chat a little bit. We say hello. We catch up. And today is a little special because we're going to be debuting some new products that are in my studio and having a little bit of a play. Oh, thank hello, Pookie. Loved everyone coming in. Hi, Tori. Did you get a little bit of a nap in? <laughs> Hi, Lane. Hi, Daddy. If you're hearing any yelling, that's not me. <laughs> that's my uh, my uh, granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter. She's being a little impossible today. So mommy is getting after her. You know, she's at that nine going on 10 stage so she's i didn't do nothing i'm not gonna do nothing hi nana <laughs> and um why do i have to do everything a stage <laughs> so i'm always having <laughs> i could have win <laughs> having a little bit of trouble uh, in that <clears throat> that department needless to say so I'm going to show you all the goodies. Well, I'm hoping to. <laughs> um, I guess I have to stand up. I don't have the arm and hand power to, to sit down and do it. So I'm going to have to stand up and do this. Hi, Tara, love. Fancy that, Dottie. Just in time, right? You just got home. How many am I getting on the sheet? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, three, six. <laughs> I need one more. Need nine per sheet. There are. 18, count them, 18 um, sprays, and we uh, need nine per sheet. Yeah, man. Thank you. Believe it or not, this is the only, well, no, it's not the only punch I have, it, but it's really the only punch I have. I got this at a garage sale for like 50 cents. I'm like, oh, I'll take that. But it's Marby, you try it out. So um, it's seen its day, but it cuts and uh, makes circles just like it never, like it's brand new. I wish that the lady, when I was at the garage sale, I'm like, you have any more? <laughs> She's like, no. I'm like, well, darn it. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't hope I get a full circle of that one. Oh, well, if it's not a full circle. It'll be big enough, I suppose. Yeah. So, yeah, I was sadly disappointed that she didn't have any more for me. <laughs> um. Yeah, I love to go garage selling. I love to go to antique shops. Apparently, I like to drop scissors, too. Um, I'd love to go to estate sales. Um, haven't done that. 
And I really didn't do the garage selling much this year because with my illness, it's, it's getting a little hectic to do those kinds of things. So I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to do that, but um, I do like to do those things. Why isn't the paper coming out? Oh, okay. They do some really, oh, you're talking about your class. Yeah, stitchery. What are you stitching this week, uh, Dottie? Well, that's just not, that's just weird how I got 19 and, oh no, hello, one for a spare part. Oh, I'll take one of those ones. It's got one of those weird edges and get rid of it. Okay. Traveling books. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cheers, everyone. And all those coming in, if I haven't said hello, but I think I got everybody so far. Still a little early yet. Um, she's still... She probably freaked herself out as much as she freaked you out. But that's okay. Look, she's probably hiding like in a closet or under the bed or something. Let her be. Another turquoise, and the last was I. I could stitch my favorite. This I chose snowdrops. Nice. Yeah. When are you gonna post pictures on um, Twitter for us to see? Yeah, can't wait to see that for sure. Okie doke, Tara. What are we eating tonight for dinner? Baked chicken. Oh, yeah. it's baked chicken night. Fancy. Boy, Steve gets to eat baked chicken. He's a lucky man. Remind me to tell him how lucky he is. Your topic was trees. And so, like, you send it around to each one in the group, and then everybody stitches a like, like whatever the topic is in a, in a different page of the book. Is that right, Dottie? Yeah. Hi, Deb. What did I do with that? Well, I'll be, 
that is this. And where would I have put you? Hmm. Oh, is it downstairs maybe? No. I don't know. I don't know where I would have put you. I guess it doesn't much matter. Well, I don't know. Oh, nice. My day, yes. So my well, yeah, I couldn't wait to get out of work, but yes, my day was was made very lovely by the deliveries that were made today. And then I got to spend money on Amazon. I had to, I had to get some more. Well, you know, I have no space in here, right? And so I can't go, I can't spread out in the room. So I guess I'm going to have to go up, which I kind of did when I did the last redo in the room. I reworked my room. So I, there's, I got like two more inches of floor space, but I moved it. So I'm working up rather than out. Right. You know, <laughs> you got a square room. I need, I need twice as much space. So I'm working up instead of out. So I went on to Amazon and I'm, I'm like, I'm, I need pl place to put all this paper. I've got, you know, I, I'm ordering like, I got a little bit of stuff coming from, you know, this place and that place and this place and that place. And I've got papers that I love to work with, but I have no place to put them. <laughs> and if I'm, you know, move something out of one place to put another new stuff in, I gotta have some place to put the old. I'm like, well, I can solve the paper problem because I went on to Amazon and I got those, you know, like when you're in schools and you got those like wooden uh, paper or in offices even like, you know, those, they got all those different paper things. So I, I bought a couple of those. They're black they match my dresser. So it'll sit on top of my dresser and then I can put my stuff on top of those. <laughs> so it's just like, Oh my God. So I've had a good day. I got to shop and I got deliveries. So I had to work today though. That was the only, I was, and, and yeah. Well, then I had a good day. How about you? Oh, and now I have to, I was, I was, I was shop. I was on um, Amazon a few minutes before the stream started. I was looking because now I have to find a container, not a container, a rack to put all my sprays in because, you know, they need to lay down, right? So, No, the delivery folks cut down on Amazon, yeah. So I'm looking at a rack that I can hang on the wall because, again, I can I can grow upwards <laughs> instead of outwards because <laughs> I have no space. So uh, I got a little bit of wall space over to my left over here that is be perfect for me to put a little, like, you know, and they have – I just got to find the right one. To hold, And I don't have very many sprays, so – Got to find the right thing that'll hold my spray bottles, my sprays. And that way I can also grab them easily while I'm streaming or whatnot. So that's what I was looking at before I got on, before I uh, turned on the camera. All right. Well, we're about 15 minutes in. Isn't a lot of us here, but there's 20. Heck, even if there was just one of us besides me, that would be, I would be happy. I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm happy that at least one person comes and sees me. Yeah, especially those with mica, they should lay sideways. Um, because, and I don't know if the regular ones have to, but I know the ones with mica should because, um, the, the mica, if, if they're standing up, will um, 
settle at the bottom and they could they, number one they could clog the bottom uh, part of the the nose the the straw part they could clog there um and that's why they tell you to lay them down so when you swish it side to side it you know it'd be easier if, if more of the, if the mica is evened out through the bottle you know less less chance of clogging um yeah um especially like um and and i know uh, like if you have like the diane uh the, the dilutions ones because hers are are heavy uh heavy acrylic sprays um they're less likely to dry up and get cloggy if you lay them on their sides it's just a good a good habit to get into um yeah so Without further ado, <laughs> they didn't quite roll the way I wanted them to. <laughs> Damn it! They were all supposed to. I had two. I had two rows, and they were all like stacked up, and they were rolling the way I wanted them to before the camera went on. They were all supposed to roll this way. <laughs> They should sell space to put the stuff we buy. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Yeah, 18 wonderful, beautiful colors. <sighs> yes. And uh, some of his are, are, are pearly Mikey, mica colors. Like, he, you know, like this one's um gold, gold mine. Oh, he's got some interesting names too, y'all. And uh, this one is uh, like a silver color. It, it's antique pearl, um, but he's got all the colors. They're beautiful. I haven't even, you know, I, you know, I, I had to work, so I couldn't, I couldn't unwrap them. So we're gonna go through, and hopefully his aren't as bad as um, <coughs> Timothy's, um, and we won't have a hard time opening them, which they don't seem to be. So <laughs> yes, the entire collection. <laughs> um, um, Now, if my fingers would work, um, so I'm just going to quickly take off the top part of the plastic, which, again, it seems very easy, unlike somebody else we know. Uh, well, yes, you, you can't you can't just get partial collections. I, I'm, I'm one that uh, typically, um, if I'm going to get it, uh, unlike some things, you just can't buy it all at once. It's just too dang, just too dang expensive, right? Um, but I'm typically, I have to have the, the, you know, the suspense is killing you. <laughs> the one of every color syndrome. <laughs> I got to co complete the collection syndrome, usually, depending on what it is. Um, like I'm still working on getting, and these are pricey, and that's why I don't have the full set is the pan pastels. And l luckily my Pookie um, uh, helped, helped, uh, this is going to be a pretty color. This is. This is just turquoise or blue ocean. Turquoise blue ocean is it's called. Um, so yeah, but I'm still working on pan pastels. I still don't have all the full full colors in that, but they're pricey. No, and that's because I'm not an acrylic girl. Hi, Christine. So the, the glazes don't excite me or interest me. It's, I, I don't foresee myself using those in my work. These I would, I would use these. Um, sprays, inks, watercolors, definitely. Um, distress crayons. Um, so, yeah, but I'm not an acrylic girl, so those don't excite me. But I do want to, I did want to get these. And um, what, what is the other thing that's coming out after the, what's the next thing that's coming out? The, um, Oh, why is it slipping my brain? I, I'm, uh, you know, I talk about his stuff all the time, and now I can't remember the last thing. The, oh, the, the the nail polish inks that he's got coming out is the next thing that will be um, in my studio once uh, they come out. And I believe those are coming out. Um, those are come, supposed to come out in March. Um, and they were supposed to come out. 
so these were supposed to come out at the end of February. No, this is February, the end of January. They were a little, um, they came out a little later than anticipated. The eyes inks just got released, the, the glazes. Um, so I suspect that the nail polish inks um, will be released uh, hopefully on time, the, the end of uh, February, the beginning of uh, March. Um, but there's no telling. But as soon as they, he has them in his shop. And I do encourage you that if you are going to purchase from Seth or purchase Seth products, that you go straight to the source. So he gets the full boat when ordering. Um, but he does have in his shop both the sprays, obviously, and the Isaac glazes. So if you're interested in any of these, um, these have left your desk. Um, if you if you're interested in either of these, um, do try to order from him. And he does travel to the UK often. So if you're thinking about getting these, he does stress on his website um, that if you are overseas, just to hit him up with an email, he can let you know either what um, places. Like I know the Hochanda site um is is uh selling these but he also well he also stresses to let him know ship send him an email um and that way he can let you know maybe some other vendors or if he's going to be in or near your town and then maybe you know he can bring with with him or whatnot um you know make other arrangements for you so you don't have to pay the hefty um shipping cost um He's real not he's a really nice guy that way. He really does try to do the best for his his customers. And that's another reason why I really um I really like him because he really is he's not while he's making money on his product, he's not out to, you know, he really cares about his customers and and, and the art that and the name that he tries to that he go, you know. He just really is a great guy. What, what you see is what you get. So, well, I don't know about hand delivered by him, but like, you know, if he's going to be at, a, at, you know, some, some place or something, um, you know, that kind of thing, <laughs> not like hand delivered at your house. No, I don't think he's going to be that hand delivered. <laughs> um, yeah. But no, he really is a great guy, really nice guy, you know, and when I, and I haven't met him in person, I can't, I mean, one day, but um, every time I talk to him in text or, or, you know, email, he's always been really, really nice. And I've seen, you know, uh, I've seen him in, in um, interviews and stuff. And the way you see him really nice in interviews, that's just the way he is. Even if you could, he gives you that tone, you get that tone from him. Um, in email and in text, you know, um, you know, so he doesn't change his persona um, off off camera and on camera. He's the same person throughout, which is, you know, something rare. Yeah, I would I wouldn't be surprised if he does make it over to Ireland at some point in time. Um, especially if it's, if he says he's working on it, that he might, he might, um, put that on his calendar at some point. Um, yeah. So yeah, these bottles are not bad to get open. Um, they still have a lot of plastic on it, but I'll worry about that later. I just wanted to get the main top part off, uh, so we can play. And then always give your bottles a shake and then never up and down, especially ones with have, that have mica. You always want to just do it like in a circular motion or a side to side. Um, that way you're not going to, and his are supposed to be no clog for the most part, right? So, you know, um, but you still want to get into the habit of doing it, um, Yes, that's what I meant, Donnie. You know, he'll bring it, post it, or, you know, if he knows a place that, that sells it near you or whatever, he'll try to make other arrangements for you so you don't have to pay the major shipping costs. 
Oh, this one's going to be pretty. Lavender. And, yeah, it looks pretty. This one, too. Cases, which is a violet color. Just, just look at the bottle. Like, I can just see the part. Oh, okay. Let's get the spray in, shall we? Now, I don't have a Timmy spray box. So, <laughs> we won't be using one of those today. And I got to get a pen so I can mark on the back of these what they are. This one looks pretty too. This is Copper Buff. Just saying. Art from the his stuff here. What are you? What do I do? What daughter are you saying? Art from what? All right, let's just do this one. Sea spray. Art from the heart, right? Yes, I've heard of that. I do will get. I will get some. Um, this to kind of catch a little bit of the overspray. Oh, they have a large postage. That's kind of blows. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Um, okay. I'm not going to, um, we're not going to dry them. We're going to let them dry naturally and see what they look like on their own. But I do want to, um, I guess we'll say one is the spray and one is the dryer for now. Okay. Next one. Emerald. Oh, that's nice. Do you guys want me to bring you down? Are you, are you, or is it close enough to see it? Or do you want me to bring you down some? I mean, I know you can see, see it, but I don't know how vibrant you're getting the colors because you're so far up. But let me know. Next one is honey. I'm excited for this one. Can't see. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty. You know what? Where is my... I'm going to get out my tweez tweezers. Where is... Uh, so far, really pretty colors. All right. Next one is gold mine. Oh, that's pretty. That is real pretty. I like it. You guys really getting the shimmer on that? Look at that. 
pretty, 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 pretty. Okay. Tea. This is another one I was excited to see. These are dye sprays, so they should be. Um, oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Okay. Ah, crappy crap, crap. That's okay. Um, just dry. Yeah this, yeah, this is dry. So they should be. So where is... Let me actually, you know what? I'm going to do it on here because it'll be more. Let's test this next color. It's a purple. Cases. Hi, Kimmy. Enjoy dinner. Hi, Terry. Oh, that's a pretty color. Okay, we're going to let we're going to let that one sit over there and dry and then we'll we're testing the water solubility of it, but it should be because they're dye sprays. So I sus I suspect that you know he didn't solve that just because it's a it's his product. But who knows? Um, my 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 understanding is that they are um, that they that they are um, water soluble. But let me see. Um, yeah. Might as well spray this one since uh, oh, I gotta write it down first. Cases, which is a violet. next one. Oh, this one I think I'm going to really like. Spring green. And I think it's it's going to be that olive color. We're going to see. Yes, Kimmy. Look at the label. The label just looks pretty. Got flowers on it, and oh, it's just a really pretty label. <laughs> I love his labels. Oh yes, look at that green. I love it. <laughs> look at that green. Look at that beautiful olive green. I don't care. He can call it spring all he wants, but it's it's definitely. Um, it's definitely an olive green. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Love. Yeah, it's definitely a love color. Okay. Let me move these over here for a second since these have already been tested for a moment. All right. So this next one, coffee. Oh, this one's going to be good. Uh, yeah, and Pookie, if you'll grab Seth's um, website and put that up in the, look at that dark, rich color. Oh, no more. I, I'm, I'm hoping so. 
<laughs> now, nah. no more uh, having to get the messy coffee dye out, ladies. That is, oh, crappy crap. That is some nice coffee dye. That is a nice, rich coffee dye color. Look at that. I'm just saying. Oh, and they're drying up so nice and pretty. Pretty, pretty. What did I do with my own? I hope so, Kimmy. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm making a mess underneath, but that's okay. This 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 paper is gonna be pretty. Actually, let me um let me put this one and get another one out. Get some more catch paper out. Let me use in fact, I'll use some of this paper. Because I have so much of it now. Look at that. <laughs> This one over here to drop. Okay. Then that there. All right. Back to the testing. Okay. Now we're getting into some of the pinks. Wild grows. Nice vibrant pink on that one for you pink lovers. Pomegranate. This is the one I'm excited for. I think I'm going to like this one. Hi, Judy. Oh, wow. It's not as deep as I thought it was going to be. I, I mean, it's very coral colored. It's not as burgundy as I thought it was going to be. I like it. It's not what I thought it was going to be. I would have liked it either way, but I kind of actually like it. It's more of a, I mean, it's got a deep burgundy outline to it, but it's very coral. That's very different. Well, who knew? I didn't know. Hi, Andrea. Oh, Andrea. Mwah. To you. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, you got your Fibsy package. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Glad you like it. Okay, here comes one, another shimmer. Copper buff. Oh, learn how to spell, Shauna. Which in the bottle, it looks like a very uh, champagne-y color. So it's not going to be the copper that you think it's going to be. Hi, Carla. Hi, CBs. I was giving a kiss to Andrea. She knows why. <laughs> okay, this one, uh, copper buff. This is a rose gold. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a very much a rose gold color. Look at it. 
He captured Rose Gold in a bottle. Holy cow. Are you guys seeing that? Rose Gold in a bottle. Oh, wow. I might have to add an, order an extra bottle of this. Hi, Soul. Hi, Rain. Um, this is the, the, the copper, copper, copper buff it's called. It is so much rose gold. Look at that. We'll let it we'll let it dry and see what it totally turns out to be. But that's what it that's what it reminds and that's what it looks like to me is rose gold. <laughs> copper. Yeah, look, look at it. It definitely looks like rose gold. Look at that. All of that around there. Tell me that that's not rose gold. That is so rose gold. Very interesting. You did good, Seth. If you're watching. By the way, he watched one of my videos. Mm -hmm. How was the retreat? I, I heard you got to meet Patty Tolly Parrish. Or you had lunch together. And you uh, enjoyed your you enjoyed your retreat. I I, I heard I seen uh, so, some stuff going on. I, I'm hoping so, Andrea. I believe so. I I do like sprays, and I I haven't really invested in a line of sprays. This is the first line that I've actually invested in. So, um, because the line I I was I was going to invest in Lindy's. So this is the first line I've actually really invested in. This one's uh, called Blue Moon. Yeah, yeah. And then you had lunch with Patty. She's a hoot, ain't she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a chance to tell her. I'm like, I know who Soul is. <laughs> Oh, this is a very, a very denim blue. Very nice. Oh, this is a Janet color. Janet would love this color. Hmm. Maybe I should order one and send it to her. She would definitely like this blue color. Very Janet color. Yep. Very much a Janet color. I don't know because I, I well let's uh, well let's see here because I think and this is going to be and I um, and, and I think I'm right um, Yeah, see, it's it's moving. This part, this part over here is completely dry, and so yeah, you would need you're gonna need to fix them. So you would have to use that fabric stuff um, that they um, that fabric medium to fix them, Dottie. If you use these on fabric, um, now it's interesting. While it is moving, there is it's not completely water soluble, right? Um, some of the really darker spots. Um, are staying. See those dark speckles? They're staying, but there is movement there. Um, so while it is water soluble, the the real really dark sprays. Or no, oh no, that was a stamp. Never mind. That was over a stamp spot. I didn't realize that. That was the stamp from yesterday. So but yeah, these are completely water soluble. So you'd have to use that fabric medium on it. Oh my God! Yes, beautiful. I haven't. I've only got. A, I've got about six. So I have six left, and then I'm, I'm going to go through. Show all the colors dry. I'll go through all the t the ones we've tested uh, so far. Um, they wanted to see if they were water soluble. So, um, let's see. But that is I'm telling you, rose gold people in a bottle. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know, Dottie. You'd have to. Uh... But this is this was dry uh, rain. This 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 was dry. This was wet, but this was was dry, and it moved. These are these are dye sprays. They're not. Um... Yes, Karen. Um, these are Seth Apter's new uh, sprays. You can go to SethApter.com. He's in New York, and he will ship to you. His uh, shipping prices are, are are great. He doesn't charge you know a lot in shipping. Um, he's he he's wonderful to work with. I highly support ordering direct. I mean, we can give it longer. I can, I mean, I let's, I mean, I can dry it. I'll, I'll wait. We'll come back to that. But, um, yeah, there. Hi, Christine. All right. So let's go on here. What, what's our next one? Uh, this one's called lavender. Very purple. This is great purple. Move these. I can get that one in there without contaminating. Okay. The next one is sunflower. Like eggplant? Oh, this one. This one, Casis Violet. Beautiful color. I love it. Um, yeah. The sunflower, yeah. I, I was very, I was very intrigued about all his neutrals, and he's not, it's not let me down so far. I'm liking the neutrals in the in this, and yeah, I, I do love the colors um, in this in the set. I, I really, even the gold is just so so pretty. Look at that. Look at that prettiness. Oh, so so pretty. Oh, look at that. Look at that golden yellow, you all. Now that is pretty. It's not over. It's not. Yep. I like that with a nice orangey hue to it. Oh, that's pretty. I love it. You got to play with them at the retreat. Yeah, I could not wait to get them in the studio. I was so excited. They finally came in today. I'm like, okay, stream time. <laughs> um, okay, so the next one is flam oh, Flamingo. <laughs> I told you some of these have interest names for sure. Okay. Hi, honey dar. How are you, hon? Karen, if you really want my my my, my opinion, and you can use matte medium or you can use uh, clear gesso. Either one will work with napkins really, really well. Um. 
very flamingo um, with a, a slight magenta hue. I like this pink. I think I like this pink a little bit more than I like the rose pink. Um, yeah. This one's, this one's, uh, the rose pink is a little more bubblegum-ish. Where this one's a little more magenta-ish. Yeah. Okay. Then we have three left. We have licorice. So this is the black. Let's make sure how he spelled it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, my last video, Dar, which one? The one from yesterday where it was a, a fiasco? <laughs> uh, or are you not talking to me? Oh, it's a nice... It's a nice purpley black. I like that. It's not so, it's not a dead black. That's nice. Good job, Seth. Good job. I'm just saying. That's good. Good job. Are you talking about yesterday's? The one where <laughs> I, I pulled a patty moment? <laughs> at the end <laughs> or did you not have the volume on <laughs> maybe it was better if you didn't have <laughs> the volume on <laughs> okay i don't want to get black on this on top of this okay so that's a black i like that it's a uh, okay so oh this was another color that i was excited about turquoise Yeah, that's, yeah, well, we're going to do a little bit of that today, Rain. That was one of my plans um, because, you know, if you, uh, and I think you've been following me enough now to know that one of my big things is, is um, gesso and paste through stencil in my work, right? So that's one of the things that I plan on doing with this. Um Oh, look at, oh, look at that. Oh, I love you, turquoise. I love you. Yeah, I'm loving his colors. I'm loving his colors. Good choices, Seth. Good choices. Good job, my friend. Pretty, 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 pretty. Mm-hmm. Very pretty. Okay, and the last one is the whitish slash. It, well, it's it's white, but it's kind of pearl white, which excites me. Um, and it is called pearl. Um. No, actually, it's called, well, it's antique pearl, but I want to, uh, I guess I'll put that on there too, in case I ever have to refer to it. Right. Bye, Terry. Are you going to kiss the bottles? Because I would. Yes, I, uh, Andrea, later. That's on my to-do list to kiss each and every one of them. They bring me joy, all of them. And I really can't say that there isn't a color that I don't like. 
I like all of them. Even the ones that aren't that, like, I really, I really like all of them. And I can say, honestly say that I would use probably each and every color. Oh, this is very, very light. Um, so I, I guess I should have put a black line on it. I, I was expecting it, to, but um, maybe you can see a little bit of the shimmer in the, in the, it, it's nice. It's a uh, very silvery white. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. I guess I should have put a white line on it, but um, that's what we have. I am going to put this over here to dry. Let me pull this, this up. Put this over there. Okay. Um, I'll just pull this over. This is my this is my my sheet of love. Okay. Okay. All right. So here we are. Besides the mess I've made. Um. Oh, good, Karen. Oh, shit. I think you'll like it. It's my go-to for napkins. Um, yeah. So here's everything, all the colors. Most of them are dry um, for the most part. I'm going to give them a quick little uh, zap or not. Am I unplugged? Oh, what the heck is wrong with you? Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's not plugged in all the way. So it, it thinks it's plugged in, but it's not plugged in. It's, uh, yeah. There. Yeah. Oh, look at the white mixing with the brown. Look at that. You get a nice uh, dusky rose color. I don't know which brown that was. It's probably this one. The coffee and the white, you get a nice dusky rose. Isn't that pretty? Come on. Even out. I don't want you on my white, though. Oh yeah, definitely. I love this is another one. That rain, you're right. This um the sunflower color is just it's pretty. It's just so pretty. OMG, is it pretty? <laughs> this is that tea color. Look at how pretty that is. Oh Seth, you did good, my friend. If you watch this video.
Okay, I think we're pretty much dry here. And then we will get out and do some we'll do some testing with some gesso. See what that looks like. Let's get these. See what these look like, eh? <clears throat> Where did I oh? <laughs> oh no these are swatches yeah these are just swatches so <clears throat> this is uh coffee this is turquoise this is the violet love it i love I, I love all three of these colors i can just see mm, mm, mm. this is tea this is flamingo this is spring green, love it. Very olive, very my, my kind of color green. Pomegranate, now that's very strange. The pomegranate, when it comes out of the bottle, is very like a mild, it's more corally pink, but then when it dries up, look, it gets, it's still coral in nature or in tone, but it's it, it does change to very red. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm doing now. So um, this is coffee. This is tea. This is violet, which is a dark pomegranate, uh, a dusky purple color. I love it. Flamingo. Turquoise. Spring green. Pomegranate, which I knew that. I was just talking about that. Though. But it's got a coral tone to it. I love it. Um, this one is the honey. Very nice. This is um, a, 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 like if you had all three of these neutrals together. See, this is kind of like um, this is a red brown and this is like a real dark brown. And this one's like somewhere in between. So you have like if you're trying to dye paper, you can't go, you can't go wrong with those. You, you won't need co coffee or tea. You'll have all the colors of the neutrals that you need with all three of these. Definitely. Nice. This is a very fake grassy green, but mixed with these other colors, um, I, I think it would be nice. It's a nice green. Um, it's called emerald. This is another uh, nice color. This is sea spray, very much like a, um, a cyan blue, um, but it tilts more to like a cerulean color. Yeah. Except for the um, shimmers that he has, these are all matte. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this 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 leans towards cerulean, but it's 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 more it's it's just a very nice blue. You can't you just can't go wrong with that. This is a, a more more of my line of blue. It's more of a denim color. It's more of a Janet color. Um, I should buy this at Cinetor. It's called Blue Moon. I really like it. So that mixed with the browns. Look at that. Janet would love that. Yeah. Blue Moon. Um, this is Wild Rose. Um, this is more... Um, this is more towards magenta, um, but it has when it go first goes on, it has like a bubble gum. It leans it leans more towards a bubble gum in color. Um, I like think I like this one better. It's a little bit lighter in hue. It's called flamingo. Um, I, both of them could be used um, with you know. They're both nice pinks. The not, none of neither one of them are like that fake pink. So they're both really, really nice. Um, now this one, this is lavender. It's a very grapey purple. Um, 
I think out of all the colors, I think this is, no, I don't dislike it. I just think it's my least favorite color. And you guys know, I love me some purples. Purple is my favorite color. Um, I don't, I don't know something about this color and you know, with other colors, it's fine. Um, but something about this lavender just does is not my favorite out of the whole set. It's not my favorite. I lean more towards this purple than that purple. And that may be, I don't know. I don't, this gold is really pretty. This is the gold mine. It's, it's that real rich, real looking gold. This one is called lavender. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. It's 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 purple. Yeah, uh, here it is. Lavender. And, and the color on the well, and you know, you can't really go by the labels, right? They just give you an idea. Um, but I was hoping that the that it would more match the be closer to the color of the label, but it's not. It's 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 very grapey purple. Um, but again, I don't dislike any of the colors. It's just my least favorite out of the whole set, I think. Um, but yeah, back to the gold. Very pretty gold. It's not that fakey, um, fakey gold. It's that, I, I don't know, I really like this. And you guys know how I am about fake, fake looking golds. This one. Rose gold in a bottle, and it's called Copper Buff. Cannot go wrong. Patty Tolly Parish, if you're watching this, rose gold in a bottle. <laughs> I, I, that's from the, the marks from the tweezers, but yeah, that is so, that is so rose gold in a bottle. Ugh. Yeah, it's just something about it. It's just, it's just different. It's just, it's, it's a blue, purple, grape ape kind of color. Z and Patty would love this color. This sunflower is one of the prettiest. It's, 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 it's just pretty. It's just pretty. He, he doesn't have a real orange in this set, but this could. This is an orange and a yellow all in one, and it's just pretty. It's just beautiful. Uh, it's just pretty. And if you see when, if you get, and you guys know how I am about look where the big, um, the big part of the, it's settled, and you get that line. Look at those, look at the lines that we're going to be able to get when I do paintings and stuff. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> right, Andrea. <laughs> this is this is another one of my favorites. Rain was right. That that is that is one of my favorites. I that is really I, I I really just love his whole line. I just I gotta say so. And the last two uh, is licorice. Now the thing I like about the black is it's a it's a adapts is it's 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 a purpley black. It's not a a dead uh, black. Um, it's a really nice, it's a really nice, pretty black. I like it. It reminds me of neutral tint. That's what it reminds me of. And that's probably why I like it so much. So he did, he did good on all these colors. Again, I like them. I love them. Um, it's intense, but it's not it's not that deep, dark black, like, you know, you know, you're thinking archival black ink. It's not black ink. It's, it's, if you like, especially like here, if you see that spot, like where, where it, it was lighter in some areas, it's got that purple hue, um, that, you know, that sky, uh, black. It's just a really neat black. I really like it. It's not, now if you kept spraying and spraying and doused it in that one spot, you're going to get a, you know, I just, I just like it. It's a really nice black and I like it. Um, but it very much reminds me of neutral tint and watercolor. This is the full line. Yes. You are seeing the full palette in, in, in all its glory. Um, 
because yeah, I'm not gonna, I can't not buy the full set, all 18 colors. Um, and then the very last one is Antique Purple. Um, and I didn't put a line on here and I should have. Um, but this is a, uh, it's, it's a very much a pearl color. If you think of a, a pearl like a stone, that's what color this, this is. And I'm, I'll hold it up for the shimmer. You guys might be able to catch it. Uh, maybe, oh, that might be a good, good angle there. So it's got a not, lot of nice shimmer. Um, so his set does come with three good shimmer colors. Um, you got your gold, rose gold, oops, and uh, a silvery white um, in, in the set. So you've got a good range of colors to play with. Um, you've got some darks and lights. Um, some interesting values to his colors, which you don't find in, in other lines. Um, and what I, what, another thing I like about his colors is a lot of them aren't fake. The only one I think that would that's a little off for me is this one in terms of the hue and color. Um, the rest of the, the, and some that were surprising, um, like this one was surprising is it's is the only red per se in the in the the set and it looks red but it's kind of got that lean towards the coral um so i find that very uh i find that fascinating um and very pretty at the same time um yeah so there's lots to be had you got some really you got a, a yellow orange so you don't have to have it any one way or another but if you mixed them you probably could get some darker colors so there's good options to mix um you got some good neutrals and you know as far as like you know uh co coffee honey and tea so you can dye your own papers um without the acidity or you know the uh, the the, the be I carbon. The only thing is, is I. The only thing is, is these are not. Um, these are not. Um, they're not. Um, well, uh, they're not. Uh, what am I trying to say? I I do. I'm gonna. We're gonna play a little bit here in a second. Uh, but I have another thing I want to show before we play. Um, they're water soluble guys so that's the only thing so you know if you're not mixing it in with the uh, or fixing it with a, a you know a water soluble or something to fix it um just keep that in mind they're not permanent thank you christine <laughs> i barely couldn't not find the word uh, <laughs> um but yeah these this is the full range and we will be um making some papers and using them in projects. Um, yeah, love, loving it very much. Um, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do some uh, gessoing with these in a, in a little, in a few minutes, but I want to show you what else I, I got. Um, I'm gonna pull these back over here. So again, 18 colors in all. Um, yeah. What are you guys talking about? Something about Canada and something or not? I don't know. I lost the conversation, so I'm not going to try to catch up. Carry on, people. Carry on. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, and Dee Dee's stream on last week, Wednesday or Friday or Monday or something or another, um, you know, she was showing her Jana Hall. So, naturally... Jana put out, um, she, she put out, uh, uh four kits, uh, of four, um, weather. 
Oh, talk about weather. Um, Jonna put four kits on her site. Um, what? Uh, oh, look at. Um, and this, these are her um, nature ones. Nature slash flower. So you know, naturally, that's that's kind of my thing. So I couldn't resist. Oh, look at. Look at these cutesy little like cloth flowers and stuff. I will use these as like oh, we will spray over these. These will go on my page and, and these are good to put on your page and then use with sprays as as masks. That is that that is uh yeah. botanical kit oh. so cute he <laughs> he so throw those out I want to save those so these will be her masks for me I like that the little special touches that she put on Dee Dee's right she does Put some, and I seen that uh, Colleen had bought too. So, and and they were really cute. Um, I need one of these right now. <laughs> That's cute. Looks like a <laughs> window. I love the little cloth thing. So I couldn't resist between Colleen and, and Dee Dee. I was like, okay, I gotta have one too. Nice, Debbie. Awesome. Congratulations. That is awesome. Oh, I've been, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to love it already. I knew it when I seen the pictures. <laughs> why, why are you saying sorry to Dot? <laughs> Yeah, that's good news. That's great news. Oh, my word is permeate. Okay. Oh, pretties. I see it. I see it. Oh. Oh, I might. This is kit number two. She had four of them. As far as Miami. Oh. If she puts up more, of the, I might have to get some more of these. Look at, I, I, pretty, 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 pretty. Preppy Crafty Girl uh, on Etsy. For those of you who may not know already, she is the Preppy Crafty Girl. Jonna is her name. And, um, yeah, I love. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, the kit is from um, the Preppy Crafty Girl over on Etsy. So just look up um, Preppy Crafty Girl. Uh, her first name is Jonna. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. See? Yep. That's gonna get. That's gonna get put on a page. I can tell you that right now. Look at little uh, die cuts. Again, my word is permeate. The odor of the flowers will permeate the entire house. Wild eyed rose. This is uh, Irish meatballs. So, so, so I get a recipe for meatballs and a drink to go with it. <laughs> I'm loving the fab. Oh, she gave. Oh. Look at you guys know how I am about my butterflies. Look at all that. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, I'm gonna have to make this as a journal, uh, a tie for one of my journals or something. Look at that pretty, pretty, pretty. I love it. 
this is oh mini oh i don't do people but i might have to do people no i guess please do ladies more Thank you, Lori Lou. Yep, butterflies or flutterbys. Yeah, <laughs> that's cute. I don't know if I could actually use this because it's not that I couldn't actually use it, but it's so cute. I don't think I'd want to use it on anything. I might have to make put this like on a journal cover or something. This is pretty. This could be, this is going to get put in the background. Y'all know that's going to get put in the background for sure coloring page it looks like raw copper penguin yeah that's going to get put in the background oh this is this is um this feels like um this is definitely fabric but it feels like burlap kind of um and it looks like it's, it's probably a stitchery patterning pattern of, of some sorts um yeah i don't know Lots of little paper, um, writing papers. Definitely uh, stuff that I can use at my desk. So that's good. Just crazy enough. Yep. Okay. Just a note. Oh, cool. This is cute. Stick my little notes in there for sure. That's a cute little folder thing in the jigger. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, more birdies. We're going to have to do another birdie page. Mm hmm. Yep. Joy is in the little things in flowers, kind words, and children's eyes. Wallpaper pattern. That's what it looks like. Like maybe it came out of a wallpaper sample book. Not not that this is a sample, but like this is a picture of wallpaper or fabric or something. Pretty, pretty. This feels like wallpaper. Yeah, this is definitely wallpaper. Background. Oh, more wallpaper. Oh, yes. Oh, she. Oh, this. The other thing I, I love to get more of my hands on is more of this. Um retro wallpaper for sure oh my goodness thank you john this was a good add to the i didn't even know this kit had it in there but yes this is a good ad yeah fussy cut those bad boys yep this i'll probably use as a background or in the background but these i could fussy cut those uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh. okay we'll get back to that in a minute more stuff that's going to be background stuff now this is okay so this is wrapping paper background background wrapping paper more um uh, book pages more book pages yep yep more book pages for background oh look at the hummers cb there's hummers <laughs> yeah, because you got to inhale. You got to. <sighs> Look at the hummers. We're going to do it. This, I'll cut the. Yeah, they'll get cut out. Uh, they'll get fussy cut. And, yep. Yeah, we'll have to do a hummer page, CB. Hummer. This is. This looks like. Um. Probably it was in, like a, in, a, in a in a magazine, um, like a how how to how to plant roses uh, magazine. But just fussy cutting the, uh, that out, or or maybe not even like just cut just taking the square and putting that in the background. So instead of black and white, it's black and tan. That would make pretty for background. All this paper would be background. That would be nice. Or background paper. Let's 
secret of these. More book, book paper, book paper. More flutter buys. Yep. came out of home interior or something like that. And then this came out of a, looks like a children's book that's going to teach them Spanish because, or it's actually probably a Spanish book that would teach them English because it starts out in Spanish. Es primavera, debuja unas flores. It is spring, draw some flowers. Night, Tori. Las flores necesitan el día y sol de buza la lluvia el sol. Flowers need rain and sunshine. Draw the rain and sun. Background. What is this? Oh, focal point. Froggies. Froggies. Let's do something with those, maybe something. So just a background. Oh, well, I'm going to do, oh, I might have to do something with these instead of the frogs. Yeah, froggies might have to go because look at, we've got critters. Look at the critters. Got to do something. I I like froggies too, but the critters. We got birds. Look at all these. Could be different focal points for different pages. I got to have the critters. Yep. Oh. Uh, well, I can tell you I wouldn't have known what the Spanish said had the English not been there. But I can speak, I can speak some Spanish that I know what it means. Um, and so ha having been around, um, I, I grew up primarily um, on the Oregon coast, West coast, um, I'm from the sticks. But when I was um, right here against my will, when I was younger, I grew up in, um, well, not grew up, but towards my later teen years. Uh, we lived in the city of Chicago. And so we lived in a, a very Hispanic neighborhood. And so I picked up some Spanish and just through the years, different friends being Hispanic and that. So I can read it more like I can read it better. Like I said, I wouldn't know what it means had that not been there, but I do know some that I can speak and I know what it means. Um, this is trees, but there's critters, but mm, what's on this side? Mm, this might just have to be background. Maybe we'll just take the tree part. There's some critters, but there's like an armadillo, an anteater, snakes and stuff. This is not appealing, but we could, I like this part. The rest of this is just noise. Yeah. So this flowers, but nothing really um, focal point, but it would look good like slightly showing. So kind of like mid-level. Um, seeds grow why do bees sting the kids are cute the heck is outside oh skip the sticks oh skip <laughs> <laughs> paper okay I like this paper 
or a scrap of paper or purple. We got some purple. See now that's that's pretty cloth. So these are fabric samples from Carol Fabrics. So these would make this would make a nice journal cover, right? Yep, yep. Nice journal cover. This one, I'm another fabric. This one, this is not going to become a journal cover. I'm going to do something special. Uh, if any of you are, you're welcome, Terry. The little package is for Allie, okay? Did I, did I put her name on it? I can't remember. If any of you have fabric samples or fabrics with any floral or prints like this, not not just not stuff like this that has just a pattern on it, but stuff that has things on it. Um, she will love. Oh, good, good, Terry. Okay, yeah, give those to Allie and tell her. Tell her I said, stay, stay creative. <laughs> I'm glad you got everything okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm going to do something special with this one. Um, but if anybody is destashing fabric, 12 by 12 is all I need that has nice images on it. Remember, I'm, I'm, wor I'm working on collecting fabric this year um, that have that. So if you're destashing and you want to send me a 12 by 12 of whatever you're destashing, that's all I need is just a 12 by 12 with a nice image on it. Send it my way. It could be animals. It can be flowers. It can be... You know, just as long as it has an image. I don't want patterns. I want images. Just FYI. I will pay for shipping and pay you for it. That's cute. It's just has to put flowers on it. So that's that. Um, so that's that. That's that. That's that. That goes over there. So this is going to be a journal binding. Probably could get... Now, it's only going to be enough for one. Okay. And then this, this is going to be, let's see. Oh, I might have to, I might have to. Yep, this is going to get included with that other piece of fabric because it has an image on it. I'm working on some special project. <laughs> they might have Andrea. <laughs> it's intermission time, ladies. Everybody run to the bathroom. <laughs> I get to go to the front of the line, okay? <laughs> so, Jana, if you watch, if you watch this, I don't know if you will, um, but thank you so much. And if anybody gets the chance, um, she really for for what you pay for her kits, you get a lots and lots of goodies and. Um, uh, her kits. It's the Preppy Crafty Girl on Etsy. Beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, you won't be disappointed with all that you get in her, her kits. Um, yeah. So, highly recommend shopping from Jana. And um, if you want to see more of the type of kits that she has uh, unboxed, Dee Dee has shown some on her um, on her show and Colleen had shown, uh, some packs that she got. So, um, check out their channels out cause they've shown, uh, or, or maybe it was on Kathy Berg's. I, I don't know. Colleen has shown quite a few packages. So look on Kathy Berg and Colleen's channels, um, for some extra, um, uh, tidbits. So, uh, my question is still on the floor. Huh? What do you mean your question is still Envelope. Oh, thank you. But what are you? Uh, what are you talking about on the floor, Andrea? What are you talking about, Ming? I forgot 
about this all. I'm going to thank you, Christine. So, oh, this is like little stuff you, I mean, they could be put on pages, but um, I could get lots of little circles, um, like little journal doodads. But you could also put, oh, these are pretty. These would be, these would look good on a, in, on a journal page. Little flower buds. Looks pretty. More little flower buds. But these, like if you were a junk journaler, that's what these, these are stickers. Oh, the same sheet of fabric. stickers um so this is a, a label you put on present but it's not christmasy um so um that's a sticker this is again a circle punch out um you can make this an image on your page That's cute. So a lot of this is like uh, if you were a junk journaler. So this would pr probably become background stuff for me. This is a card, um, like a playing card. That's cute. Um, again, these would become background image things. So these are playing cards. So that's cute. So she really does coordinate all her packages. She does a really good job at coordinate coordinating her packages. Because um, even when I was watching Colleen and Dee Dee unwrap theirs, like – Based on the, the premise of the, you know, whether you got, you know, something floral or something boho or something, um, you know, she she does a really good job about packaging them up and keeping like things in the package. Yeah. Um, so, again, thank you, Jonna. It was a great experience. And I will be ordering from you again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I love retro stuff and I love, you know, um, I probably I'm probably going to get a um, see the next one I'll probably get is like a, maybe a boho kit because um, uh, some a lot of stuff that Colleen got was really cute, too. Um, yeah. So, all right, well, let's get to playing. Let's see what we can we can make a mess with with these sprays, eh? So, um, let me move this out of the way. Oh, I want to keep this washi tape. I, I wish. Oh, don't, don't, don't do this to me. Oh, I gotta put this washi tape somewhere. But this was the washi tape that was on the outside of her envelope. I wish I could find this washi tape. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty washi tape. I'm just saying, I gotta put this somewhere before it. It tries to. Um, I'm surprised it survived the trip. Being that, that does seem like very sticky washi tape. Um, I need to put that in my washi tape. All right, let me get, um, what do I want to do the samples in? What do we want to do? Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Oh, you know what? We could do it on that. That would be a good way to, to test them. And they, oh, you know what? No, actually, even better. Yes, it's me. I can get up. <laughs> okay, so let's just do it here, shall we? All right. We'll turn the page so we don't make a mess. Yeah, we 
we'll do some we'll use uh, let's do some gesso why not let's pick some stencils this way I'll get out my six by six stencils You hear my you hear Loki out there loud mouth barking at the neighbor? I mean I'm just say saying how I, I can't wait until those shelving units come tomorrow because if I get any more paper in the studio, I'm gonna have to sleep outside. I'm just saying. So how do I want to do this? I don't need that there. Sprays are there. Stencils here. I need to leave the colors here so we can see what we're working with. Um, not this one. Oh, well, I'll leave that there. Um, let's let's do some color mixing, shall we? Uh, shall we with um with some stencilage? Um, maybe we'll do it over here. And the book can be over here so you guys can see what we're doing. Um, there, you can use, um, there's Fabri-Tac is a good he adhesive for, fa for fabric. As far as I know, I'm not too terribly uh, um, versed in fabric, but uh, I know Fabri-Tac is. Um, Hi, my Jutes, Sipu. I know Fabri-Tac is one that people use, and I've used it. Um, what colors? From the rainbow, my new cess spray. Do you want to see my Judes? Look at all this, yum yum. Oh, I got. I have the ring. I need to punch those two before the night is over. I need to get a oh, ring. Put those on. I'll get it later. Okay. How was the shot today? Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, You rest, honey, and just if you if you need to sleep, you sleep. All right, so let's pick a. I, I'm thinking we can do. Um, do we want to do? I don't know. Yeah, let's do. Let's just do that. Okay, so maybe we'll do. Oh well, we haven't. We haven't used. We haven't used this one. Let's use this one. All right. That's no fun either. Do I really want to? Hmm. Oh, 
Yeah, because I want to test the gesso thing. Okay, let's do that because that'll be more fun and then we can play around and see how we like it. But then if I like it, well, I can always scan it. No, you know what? I'm not going to do it in my swatch book. Never mind. I'm going to get out the really big pad of paper. And we'll just do it on the big book, okay? And then I can always cut it down and make, um, uh, what do you call it with? Um, postcards. Or scan or whatever. Okay. All right. I'm this here so we can see what colors we want to go with. I do want to um, so if somebody start thinking of colors. You know what I'm going to ask you? Don't be don't be thinking you're going to be all kinds of lazy and stuff. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, yeah, I think I can almost get, I think I can almost get six by six. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta put the sprays down first. What what do we what do we what colors do we want to see? And in fact, um, or should we do it? Yeah, I should do it this way. And if I do six by six, I can do this. And I can start there. Yeah, I can get two and two. Okay. Hi, Debbie. Okay, Judes, what do you want to see? And then we're going to go with uh, turquoise and tea for Christine. Turquoise tea and rose gold will be the, the triad for Christine after, after uh, my sissy poo picks her colors. So my Judes, which one of these lovely colors would you like to see? Look at all that beautifulness. Don't nobody talk to her until she picks two or three colors. No, she doesn't have to know the name. She just has to tell me the colors.
Tell her, Lori Lou. How, how about I start you off, Judes? Judes, lovely turquoise, maybe? How about an olive green? No, you cannot pass. Olive green, turquoise? Maybe how about this one, honey? Or sunflower, rather? Or maybe you want rose gold. Hmm? We have, we have this one. Nice pommy violet. We've got, we got a nice denim blue. She doesn't need to know. She just needs to pick three colors, two or three colors. Judy, just pick colors. There's just colors. You just have to pick colors, honey. You don't have to know what it's for, what we're doing. Okay, gold. That's a start. Okay, now pick two more. You're on a roll. Two more, honey. Two more. <laughs> got a nice coral red. We've got, we've got a nice, like, magenta -y pink. Green and teal. Okay, so this is the tealish color I got. And then we got this great. Okay, good. Okay. See, that was easy. Thank you, honey. See? Okay. And so I know where they are now. I mean, I know what the bottles look like, the ones I'm looking for. So that's this one, and then my olive one is over here, and then the turquoise is, where is my turquoise? Hello? Oh, here. This one. Okay. All right. You want five colors? Oh, good grief. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not five colors. Uh, 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 no. So she goes from picking no colors to wanting five colors? Judy. Right? <laughs> okay. So let's just, let's just, uh, Oh, I guess this, the, this one wants to slide off, but that's going to drive me nuts. Okay. Okay, you can come off. You can come off. Okay. A little, a little bit of that one. And a little bit of that one. A little bit of that one. And I don't care if it kind of goes over into the next one. We're going to put a little bit of that one there. And... And then we're going to put this one here. This is the gold. A little bit of gold there and a little bit of gold there. Okay. And then we're going to just kind of let that sit. Now who's next? Um, Christine, you were up next. What do you want, sweetie? What do you want? Oh, look at how pretty it sprays. Oh, that's going to be pretty. I, I can't remember your numbers, uh, Christine. So what's next? And then I'm gonna need to pick some stencils while you guys are fussing about colors. I don't know which is harder, getting you guys to uh, pick stencils or getting you guys to pick colors. Tea, rose gold, and cases. Okay, so 
No, that's the one. So rose gold, that's the copper one. That's this one. And T, which is this one. And then um, cases, which is this one. My favorite one is this one. Here. Okay. All right. And then somebody else pick some colors. I like that color. There is a way around that, you know. Yeah. I don't let you guys play, but that's no fun for me. Or, well, yeah. Whatever. You know what I mean. Okay. That one, they're both looking pretty. Anybody else want to play? Holy. Oh, so this will be the third one. And then, what other stencil do I want to play with? Uh, oh, that one might be interesting. No. Uh, oh, we'll play with this one. Who's next? Three colors. Don't be shy. Okay, I, I will pick the next three colors. I will do that one, and I will do that one, and I will do this one. Okay. So, I know I think I, it's uh, this one. Right? Yeah, I was right. Make sure I know my sprays. This one. Okay. And then, um, where is this one? I want, where are you? Yeah, I want this one. Okay. And then, what's this one? Mm, yeah. <laughs> that one's going to be very green. I might have to put a little blue, more blue on there just to, um, yeah. Right. Don't know what we're going to get, but whatever. Okay. Now who wants to play? I did my trio. Okay. Lori says, uh, or no, Pookie says sunflower. Okay. Pink and pomegranate. Well, now, do you want flamingo or rose? Which one of these pinks do you want? Darker or lighter? Pomegranate. Hi, Mama. Rose. Okay, so she wants the rose. Where is that one? This one in here? No. Yeah. No. Nope. nope. Where are you? Where did I put you? Pomegranate. And where? Oh. What? Hello. Lost one. Oh, there you are. I'm like, I lost one already? There ain't that many here. Oh, that's gonna be pretty, Pookie. That's gonna be pretty. Look at look at that. That is a nice mix. This 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 sunflower with the wild rose gets you a really nice orange. I'm just saying. Oh, and I'm spraying crazy. Oops. And we're gonna have to put a little bit. Ah, oh, shite, 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 shite. Damn it. Oh, I'm going to have to. Oh, can't have these that close to my thing. That's okay. I'm going to have to respray that one with the green. That's okay. I got, I contaminated it. Damn it. That's okay. Not worried about it. I need some more yellow. 
Okay. Um, okay. But now we have, yes, I have four stencils. Now we need to dry this mess. That's because I, the way I was spraying. It's pretty though. It's pretty. Look. No, and you're getting, you're getting the halo of the yellow. Mm. And you get a very pretty orange with that, 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 the rose and the, um, and the sunflower makes a really pretty orange. Just saying. Okay, Nana, save that color combo. And anybody else who had color combo, save them. You'll be up next. I want to get the paste put on this one and let it let it be drying while we pick next the next colors. Okay, that should be good enough. I think it's, it's, uh, I think it needs to be slightly wet anyway. I don't know, maybe not. Is Rain still here? Rain, are you still there in the background somewhere, honey? I can't remember if she said it needed to be slightly wet or not. <clears throat> Okay. I don't know. Oh, I could write, well, we're just going to go on. We're just going to go on with it. Um, cuz I'm going I am going to slightly um slightly wet it cuz I have my fancy schmancy new the grape color. Oh, this one? Yeah. That one. And that one pretty. That's this color, mama. And it's not really grape, it's violet. Isn't that pretty? Try a little, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put that down like that. And then, getting out my palette knife would be good. I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, let that just sit there and yeah, there. I don't know if I'm letting it dry too long, but who knows? Okay, and then. The next one, this one. Mm -hmm. I'm just spraying it lightly with water.
Ooh, it's already coming up on this one. That's going to be some pretty something something. You can already see the color coming up. It's okay. Look at that stenciled out. Crusty bits, people. Crusty bits. Nice, nice spray sprayage on my stencils for crusty bits for sure. If I don't end up wiping it off in the process. This is actually contaminated, so I can't really use this. Anymore. Yep, already soaking up the um Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That took my color on that one. Let me just set you over there. Hmm, interesting. Well, this is rice paper, so I don't know why I'm why I'm not why I'm amazed by it, but I shouldn't be. <sighs> yep, that's gonna work up to some nice crusty bits. Just saying. Just saying. Up there goes in the garbage. All right, where did I put the? Oh, okay. See, this stencil has lots of goodness on it. No, this is white gesso. But you can see it's already picking up the color from underneath it. Oh, you can do clear, too. We can do clear. I'm just saying this one's already. Um, I'll do some of both. We're gonna we're not gonna dry this. We're gonna let the I'm gonna set this off to the side, and so we pick some other. We'll go on to the next colors. Um, I didn't really want to. Um, Kind of not what I wanted on there, but whatever. <laughs> this one. The, this is a, I got it at um, Z Shop. It's a Gabriel Palico, stem, Ga Gabriel Palico stencil. 
if that's the one you're talking about. It's got a hummingbird and two butterflies. I, One's a primer and one's a, um, while matte medium is used as a glue, it's more of a, of a, a paint medium. Okay, um, this one now. Oh, Jude, <laughs> you calling her out now, Jude? That's uncool. Yeah, Jesso is a is a primer. Um, <laughs> and, and a paste. <laughs> And matte medium is a paint uh, is paint additive and a glue. <laughs> we mix media artists use everything for anything. All right, now we're gonna let this sit over here and soak up colors. While it's doing its thing, we're gonna move on to the next one and we'll use clear gesso on the next one. How about that? All right. Who's next? What colors do we want? Who had colors? Nana, I think you had colors, didn't you, honey? Yellow, green, pink, okay. Yellow, green, pink. Um, now, let me 
spray this one again because this one is just that spot's going to irritate me because yeah it just will because i screwed it up now do you want grass green or olive green Grass green, okay. Green, yellow, green, pink. Okay. Oh, I gotta pick a stencil. Let me get out my. Oh! Uh, oh! Body hurt. Body hurt. too much green but we'll just give it a little more yellow and now you want well ooh. okay pink it is Ew. okay that's what she wanted people that's what she got and you're gonna get this done so next nana where are you what colors did you want it actually is not looking bad. Ugly. I actually kind of like it. Am I weird? I mean, I know I'm weird. I mean, I know I'm quirky. I mean, I'm weird quirky, but I actually kind of like it. I want to know where Nana's at. Who wants to be up next? I who this who's got colors for me? What's wrong with you people? Hey, Rock the Weird, it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's well, it's gonna dry a little bit. It's, it's not gonna, well, yeah. The clear dust will make it wet. It's okay, Elaine. Gotta let it dry a little bit. Sunflower, grass green, and black. Okay. So, since you guys don't want to talk to me, it's going to be a Christine and Shauna show. Grass green and black.
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, these flow nice. Oh, these, these, these flow nice. Well, that's going to go nice with that. Okay. Let's put this down. Let's do clear gesso now. I may regret that color choice. Too late now, Christine. You got to own it, girlfriend. You got to own it. You called it. You got to own it. Still want to know where Nana went. She's ignoring me. Ew. See, I think I should have waited longer. That's getting muddy now. I should have done it like I was doing it before. Actually, it doesn't look bad. You need to go over there, though. And I need to get a wipe. Wipe my hands first. Clean off my spatula. Put this over there. I'm going to let that one dry a little more, I think. But I do want to add these reactivates. So that's something you're going to keep in mind, too. Give a little more yellow. That. Move that over there so it doesn't get messed up. And I'm going to let that dry a little more. Um, okay, so. Yeah. I don't need color combos. I can creep show. <laughs> this is a creep show. <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. We're going to let that dry a minute. I want to see. We're going to use rose gold. We're going to use one of my. Let's see, which one do I want to see? No. We're going to use the teal. And then, um, honey? Either one of these would be nice. Yeah. Okay. So, where is... Oh, that's coffee. I should have known because it's the darkest one. That should be this one. Yep. Okay. And this one over here. Yep. Hold on to that thought, Christine. Get ready to type it again because and that. Oh my butt. Uh, and then the turquoise. Where's my turquoise? Turquoise. Oh, there you are. Yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> now I need a stencil to pick for that. We're gonna do. We're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna do this one. Now, we're going to pick that up so I don't have a puddle. No puddle jumping, okay? No need no puddle jumping. I want to pick that up, okay. Um, put, where do I put you? I don't know where to put you. Oh, no. Okay, I'll put you over there. And then, not this one. Where's my other one? Oh, freak. Right here.
Ah, shite. whatever. Okay. You go there for a second. I think these sleeves are plastic. Look at that pretty mess. I like that. Lori, I don't know why you don't like it, but I like that. And now you have to. Um. And now you have to envision what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with this once we get past the. Now that we've played with gesso with it, now imagine one of my paintings. Now, just follow the story along with me, right? Um, one of my paintings, watercolor or ink, doesn't matter, using Seth's embossing powders, using... Clear gesso or gesso through a stencil over ink resist spray because of the embossing powder resist with with oil pastel in the background resist and my grungy pretty way of, of doing things with collage are you following me are you seeing it are you seeing the vision and to top it all off what am i going to top it all off with who has the answer who has the answer of what I'm going to top it all off with? <laughs> See me? No, I am going to top it all off with gold, gold, flaking, or uh, 
the like, the similar thing. A flamingo. <laughs> just just imagine it. Gold leaf, yeah. Gold leaf or 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 um, you know, the other uh, foil foil paper that they that the girls have been using. Just imagine all of that. And not gaudy, not a whole bunch all in, you know, but just one of my paintings with a little bit of everything in all the right places. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, sir. I can see it. I can see. Oh, that is pretty. That. That was my colors, by the way. Before we go more impact. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andrea. Great support there, friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, magicals, I when I include when I when I say watercolors, inks, magicals kind of is kind of wrapped up in them with that. The Corona vaccine. <laughs> and where you been? <laughs> I guess so. CB, right? It is a tough crowd tonight. Holy cow! Should I go back and not and not stream? <laughs> I can't just. I just cannot please you people. <laughs> I was I was expecting a. Oh wow, that sounds cool, or something to that effect. And I got neither of anything remotely close to that. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nana slash Christine, what are our colors for the. <laughs> now mama's trying to bleed the bit. Can y'all get over that? Now she trying to she trying to bleed the bit like she ain't been here for an hour. No, Nana, had, you picked colors like an hour and a half ago. What are those colors? <laughs> Thanks, Nana. Go sit in the corner. <laughs> okay. Light pink, lavender, and pearl. Pearl, pearl. Okay, here's our pearl. Uh, light pink. Where are you? I think that's the the, the flamingo color. Yep. That's, that, that's definitely not the one. Is this the one? Yeah, that's this is the flamingo. I know this one. That's the pearl. Oh, it's easy. And then um and and the lavender. Right. It should be this one. Oh, that's the violet. Where's the lavender? That's oh that's the color I don't like, right? Well, not that I don't like. I won't. I won't. Let me. My least favorite of the whole set. Let me put it that way. It looks pretty in the bottle. Look at it. I don't know. Maybe if I spray it out again, I'll like it differently. Um. Yeah. I don't dislike any of them. It's just my least favorite of the whole set. Okay. So. It's a purple. Can you get over it? This one. It looks like it's the gray beef color. This one. It just, I don't know. Something about it. Yeah. It might be one of those that I love it mixed. I just don't like it on its own. Or it's just not my favorite on its own. I don't want to say I dislike it because I don't dislike it. I just, it's just not my favorite. See, it's very grape ape. I don't know. So it's looking, it's looking better already. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a weird purple.
In person, though, it looks very, very grape ape ish. This is lavender. <laughs> Lori Lou, don't do not. <laughs> <laughs> Do not start a riot. <laughs> and we got a Loki hair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll tell you, like Seth, I got to tell you, <laughs> when I was debuting the sprays, we had a problem. <laughs> No, all I I do I love his products. In all, <laughs> putting all the funny aside, I do love his products, and I highly, <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I like, like I said, it looks good mixed. <laughs> I like it better mixed. It's a good mixing color. <laughs> I like his product coat. And also, you guys know I'm a big big Seth fan. I like his work. I like his his embossing powders. I like his sprays. It it, it, it overall, I just. All of the other colors are just lovely. They're just fantastic. <laughs> lavender. <laughs> yeah, now it looks, now it really looks like lavender when you mix it with the white. Just saying. Love you, Seth. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I need a stencil. Well, shall now. Shall we do? What shall we do? Mm. This one looks fun. I don't really use this one all, so you know we'll just use this one. Give it a little bit of fun. Fun, fun. Oh, she said, uh. <laughs> Christine plays along, and I like all of you most days. <laughs> I love you every day, and I like you most ever most days, <laughs> but she likes to play. I want you guys to be have a say. It's not just my show. I mean, it is my show, but it's not just my show. You guys matter too, you know. What fun is it if I can't make you guys play along? <laughs> yeah, Christine gets to be teacher's pet today. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Everybody has their place and spot in my stream. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe all these because I've made a big mess on my desk. It's gonna take me days to clean it all up now. I highly recommend his sprays, guys. Really, they don't they don't have a, a, a they don't really have a, like a smell factor. They're easy to clean up. Um, they work well with mediums, as we've found. Um, 
they can be, uh, if you use them in a project, um, like as an underlayer or something, and, and if you, you're not using matte medium on top, or like, you know, if you're worried about because they're not, um, they're not permanent, use a jelly plate. You do like I do with watercolor and that, um, and, and, and VO2s, use a jelly plate to fix them. They'll become permanent once you fix them. Um, so there's, o there's always ways around products that are not permanent. I particularly like uh, the Challenge and the uh, water-soluble products myself, um, depending on what it is I'm trying to do. Um, so, but yeah, I give, I give his sprays a thumbs up. Highly recommended for sure. Um, your princess. What? <laughs> yes. Yes. Christine. Christine did well. Now let's um, let's give this one a second to dry on its own. Let's go back to our first one where we used the white gesso. We move these over. Here. I definitely got to get a thing to stick on the wall to stick these sprays in because I have, I have nowhere to put them at the moment. They're gonna, I'm gonna I gotta go online tonight and order something because yeah, I have nowhere to put them. <sighs> it's a sad day when I've got to go shopping on Amazon, ain't it? Um, I do love that color. Just a sad, sad day when I'm forced to go shopping. Um, oh, Princess Booger. Oh, <laughs> Lori, I love you. <laughs> Oh, he's live on the line doing his ice talk. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Actually, no. If you guys remember... Christine's been lurking on my channel for a while, so she actually knows how crazy we really are. <laughs> right, Christine? She just decided that she would join the party. <laughs> never in the hot seat that's true <laughs> all right honey night night mama <laughs> don't don't try to weigh my I, I look do not give her any ideas Lori we're supposed to be welcoming and you know embracing our, our 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 new people and hugs and 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 you know spreading the love you know i'm at 700 and like 75 subscribers i'm, I'm 125 away from our 1000 mark we don't frighten our, our our new friends away we we keep our friends <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know, honey, if you really want to go there, that might not be fine. <laughs> and, and Pilky's like, oh, yeah, we welcomed her, all right? Yeah, no problem. You 
guys. I love you guys. You guys are too funny. <laughs> Okay, put that away. Put that away. Hide that in the back of my medium somewhere. I need to put these on a on a swatch ring. I'm like putting new sprays. Let me put away Jana's stuff. Everybody in the clouds. <laughs> this is your intermission. <laughs> this is the test of the emergency. Somebody fix socket for 15, please. <laughs> this is your reminder to, to go get us something to drink. <laughs> Thank you, maintenance man. <laughs> I'm that powerful, you know. <laughs> That's the power I have to see. <laughs> oh my god, I can't stand you people. though I did tell you guys I was born in Salem right found my birth certificate <laughs> Yeah, not Salem East Coast, Salem West Coast. I'm the good witch. <laughs> you guys are terrible, terrible. At least, if nothing else, when you come to my stream, you will have a laugh. <laughs> I 
Okay. So it's pretty much dry. It's nice that the metallics um, still shine through. Um, yeah. And they go around the gesso really nice too. Like it didn't it didn't soak up through the gesso. It's like they cradle the gesso. Like, see that? Like, I don't know. Real cradle gesso. Instead of getting so soaked up through the gesso, probably because it's a it's a mineral pigment. Um, same here. Like it cradled around the gesso. It didn't soak up through the gesso. Oh, yeah. So imagine this all cut up, still kind of wet. But <clears throat> that's because it's, you know, it's heavy gesso. It just. I will say that the sprays um, mix cleanly. Um, like they don't, I don't know, like unless you're purposely trying to make mud. Let's look at this one. Let's try this one a little more. This one really became pretty now. Oh, that's the wet. This purple. Really, really nice now. Loving that one, loving that one. I don't know if the black was necessarily the right right one to go with the, the yellow, but I do like the black. Now this is clear gesso, so it's going to change somewhat. Um, we're going to see how it's going to develop with the color soaking up in there. Um, Lori, don't make me have, make a snow avalanche fall on you, okay? Lori knows I love her, but that was so uncool. She'll regret it in the morning because she's intoxicated. <laughs> Sorry, officer. I was I was day cool intoxicated. <laughs> Don't go driving, Lori. <laughs> you may you may regret it in the morning. <laughs>
This looks very tie-dyed, Lori. See, your colors weren't bad. I like it. But that's just me, maybe. I like it. Yeah, you always got to try different things when you get new products. You never know. And it's really nice. I think I... I do think I like the, the clear gesso um, better than the white gesso. Um, and for obvious reasons, you know, it really picks up the color. The white gesso will be nice um, because I put this in the background and then I do white gesso and then I bring in watercolor or something. Yeah. I do like the pink that we used over here mixed with the teal makes a really pretty purple. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. And I think that was, was it wasn't the pomegranate. It was, I think it was the rose that I used. The rose with the teal or the turquoise over here makes a really pretty purple. Yes, they do. Unless you fix them. Yeah, they're they're water and they're water soluble because they're dye based. dry on its own but yeah here so up up whoops go back go back 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 see Laurie your colors weren't bad look at that it's pretty those flowers on it that's pretty
see the shimmer in that one when I rock it. It's nice. Shift. Yeah, even after it dries. So like this one I did. Uh, this is the one I did earlier. Way earlier when we were first swatching. It may not be, be you, but I like it. But yeah, see, you can still... You can still move it. So see, there wasn't any. There wasn't any there. I mean, it, they're not. Um, they're nothing like dilutions. They're not going to move as much as dilutions. But yeah, you can still. I'm still feeding out pink. Look at this was a this was a very uh, concentrated spot and I can still feed out pink or rather uh, this purpley color that I like lavender it's called but yeah they're they're definitely water soluble so you definitely definitely have to fix it when uh, whatever you know just you know they are water soluble but once you fix it unlike dilutions they don't keep going and going and going. Um, yeah. This is not quite dry yet, so it's not as translucent as the other spots. Um, when this dries up, I mean, this is totally dry on this side, so it took all the color um, and still gives you a little bit of white. Well, no, it's not completely dry either. So it's still a little, little wet. Oh, this color, <laughs> this lavender color. Yeah, I don't know. It's a very interesting color indeed. It's not, uh, yeah. It says lavender. I'm not this one. Where is it? This is lavender. Very, very lavender indeed. But when you mix it with the, with the pink or something, it chills out. It it just does. Uh, but I like this. I like this one. This one. But then when you mix. The blue and the pink I used over here, which I, like I said, I think this was the rose color, this wild rose with the turquoise. You get a really pretty purple there. Yeah, the, the pearl really, and then the pearl with the, the you, got a, you got a really nice lavender over here. The pearl with the, the with this color, um, it really toned it down a little bit and made it very lavender here. And then here's the one with the white. Yeah. Can't get it all in all of this over there. So let's see. I am no room. I gotta order something tonight because this is gonna drive me nuts. I've got to get something to put them in. Um yeah. Now I can get them all in there. Over here. So. This is all our lovely, oops, lovely colors. Got a couple, got another one hiding in there. That one looks odd. I want to take a picture. Okay, maybe this one goes over here. When I log off, I'm, I'll take the screenshot and then I'll take a picture and put it on our Facebook. <clears throat> yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. 
Welcome back, Pookie. Yeah. So yeah, we had fun. I love this. I love a lot of the colors, really. I love the. I mean, really, I truly love the whole line. Um, that's the only one that's my least favorite, but I like it when it's mixed. All the other colors I like, and I can see myself using all the other colors. <clears throat> For sure. And if you are, I'm a, I'm a color connoisseur for sure and texture. So I this this is like this right here is just like mm, this is yummy to me. There you go. The pearl is nice. Yeah. I should have put a black line on it. Um, so we could see not, but so you could, or like, oh, I should have put a black, like a black strip and then put it over there so you guys can see how pearlized it is. It really is a really pretty pearl. The barrel blast, yeah. <laughs> Most of my streams are. <laughs> I'm going to mix up some of these colors for the picture. Mix up some of these colors so the offsets. There we go. It's a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit better. There we go. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I think this one needs to go over there. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Good night, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thanks for the love and support. Love and hugs to everyone. I will see you guys on Saturday. Have a great night and um, go shop at Seth's store. Awesome stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great evening. I will talk to you later on the flip side. <laughs>